One of the things I like to do is to um, paint the sides of my canvases because they're quite deep edged. So it's quite nice to continue the design, the composition on the sides as well. So it works particularly well if you're coming into a room or on, alongside the painting. You get, I suppose, it's a 3D effect really. Which can be fun. Need to mix a fairly neutral colour for this bit of the bridge. Just going to hope you can see. Not that you can see what I'm doing, but you're going to have to trust me at the moment. This isn't um, carried out in as detailed a way as the face of the painting. It's more or less to create an illusion really. And so I very loosely put the main tones and colours in there. And then I can always add more detail if I feel like it later. See how it looks. The thing is, with painting, you're in charge, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect from the word go. You can play around and tweak it to your heart's content. Oops. A little bit of dried paint there getting in the works. Okay, so this can be this can be fiddled with later. The point I'm making is that art isn't an exact science. You can um, It's play really, play for adults, and the way I see it, children are the best artists because they've got, they don't know what they're doing basically, so everything comes straight from their eyes to their hands, it bypasses, almost bypasses the brain. That sounds awful, but you know what I mean, it's just instinctive and intuitive, they don't overthink it which is fabulous. And in my recent work, this is what I've been trying to achieve. The, you know, this sense of um, letting go and being free. It, um, it's fun, apart from anything else. Need some more cadmium yellow, excuse me. When I find it, excuse if I'm blocking the view, I'm sorry. I'm having a rummage for a particular tube. Yeah, here we go. Cut me in yellow. If you've got teeth, you can always open the tube of paint. Right. So that's. Now on the palette. Okay. So a bit of that. And some white. And 
as you can see, it's very loose. It's not at this stage attempting to be anything like the front of the painting. But when I finish with it, as the eye glances at it, bearing in mind people are going to be concentrating on the face of the painting, it will look as if it's part of the composition. So I'll let that dry and then I'll enhance it. Okay? As you can see, it doesn't look like the rest, but that's okay. At this stage, we're not worrying. I'll come back to that later. And then I'll paint the rest of the the other side, so I've done the, already done the top, which is easy because it's all sky. And I'll come back, finish this off later. Okay. <laughs>